everybody, welcome back to my YouTube channel, Kids Love Math. Today I'll be I'll be um working out um the um problems with you that will be based on division. So our first question is: Emily has eighty seven balloons. She wants to have a party pack with eight balloons in each pack. So she wants each pack eight balloons in each one. How many full packs can she make, and how much will be left over? So this. This, so they said that Emily has, so she has number, number of balloons is 87. And, um, balloons per pack. Eight balloons in each pack. So how many how many how many packs can she make? Is the question. But they also asked how much how many balloons will be left. So using long division, we should be able to solve this. So long division is just a different type of, of division that curls curves with bigger numbers. So we put eighty seven here. And eight over here. So, so things along division, and we know that eight, eight, and eight are the same. So we don't have to move on to the next digit. So eight divided by eight is one. And the one times eight equals eight. So we minus that, and we have zero, and we have seven. Since seven can't fit into eight, and we don't have any other digit after seven, we have to put a zero. Knowing that it could, seven cannot fit into eight, and we do know that zero times eight is equal to zero. Then we can't multiply. We can't use. There's nothing. We have zero. Then we multiply by eight. It can't work. So it's always zero. And so zero times eight is zero. And we subtract that, and we have seven. So the remainder is seven. So the answer is that. The answer is we'll have 10 packs, we'll have 10 packs, and in, in each pack we'll have 8 balloons, so 80 balloons in total, and 7 balloons will be left. She can be just play with them. And if you want to check our answer, we can do 10 times 8 equals 80, and 80 plus 7 equals 87. So our next question says... There are 145 students going on a camping trip. Woohoo! Each tent holds six students. So it says that you everybody else a tent. A tent holds six students. So pretend there's six of me. In and in each tent there will always be six of me. How many tents are needed so that every student has a space? So we have 145 students. And each tent can hold six students. So put it up here. So we have one number of students. Is 145. And they did say that each tent holds six students. So per tent. Hold six students. So how many tents are needed so that every student gets a good resting sleepy space? Huh. I really need to sleep myself. Whatever. So we have things along the division again. We write our question. 145 as the bigger number inside. It's hiding. And six. Is brave and comes out. So we do one divided by six cannot go. Thank goodness there's a there's another number after it, so we can use fourteen divided by six. And what's the closest number to fourteen? Two. So we do two times six equals twelve. Now give us twenty five. That's a wonky five. But, but we still need to divide 25 by 6. Let's think. 
If we have 25, then we need to divide it by 6. We can skip count, we can use the multiplications tables. Let's skip count this time. So we have 6 plus 6 equals 12. Plus 6 equals 18. Plus 6 equals 24. I think that's the closest we can get. So we put 4 over here. And do 4 times 6 equals 24. Subtract. And we have 0 and we have 5. It gives us remainder 1. So the answer is 24 students and one student will remain. Wait a second. Didn't the question say every student must have a space? We can't just let the kid be out on the streets. That would be so sad. Aww. So if they said that every student must have a space, we cannot do 24. Our answer cannot be 24 remainder 1. Our answer would, might even, would actually be, since we have 24 plus one student, we would need 25 tenths. We can still go on with six students per group, and then that student will have his own tent all to himself. Yeah, it's good to have all, a tent all to yourself. So much space. All right, our third question. Dividing candy. A candy bag has 96 pieces of candy. Hmm. Maybe I'll go ask my dad if we can go buy some candy later. And then each child gets nine candies. Why not me? That's rude. How many children can get a share? And how many candies will remain? Maybe I'll have all those candies, please. So it said that we have 96 pieces of candy in a candy bag. So 96 pieces of candy it says in a bag. So number number of number of pieces of candy of candy. We'll just say that. Is 96. And per per child, let's say, gets Nine candies. Mm, mm, mm. Candy, you can just never forget. So, how many candies can each child have? And how many candies will come to me? Oh, yes, indeed. So, we have, using long division, we have 96. We have nine. So we do 9 divided by 9 because they're both equal and that's how it works. If it's equal or the number, the first digit of the number, that little hidey 9, you can see that, right? Yeah, he's hiding or she's hiding. If this number is greater or equal to, we can divide it. So 9 divided by 9 is a... Uh, 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 oh yeah, one. So we multiply that, that'll give us nine. You subtract that, we have six left. We still need to do six divided by nine. But the rule for long division is, if the number is not equal or greater, Then, the answer has to be a zero. So six divided by nine equals zero. Plain old zero. And zero times nine equals zero. And six minus zero equals six. So it's 10 remainder six. And that means each child we can have 10 pieces of candy. That's right. 10 times 9 equals 90. And then those remaining 6 candies can all come to me. So 90 plus 6 equals 96. And our last question for this video. Hmm, let's see. Let me choose this time. A teacher... Bring 78 puzzle pieces to class. 
thousand pieces, just break it in a box, obviously. She gives six pieces to each team. So you're saying this is a competition? Oh, get me in there. I'll always win. Well, maybe. How many full teams can get pieces? And how many pieces are left over? Hmm, maybe they're not all left over. Doesn't look like it. And so number of pieces. Number of, number of, of, forget of. Of pieces was, what, what was it again? Uh, 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 oh yes, right. Yes, yes, yes. 96, no, 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 78. And then, um, how many puzzle pieces? Puzzle pieces per team. Oh, I'm hearing a loud shout of excitement. Mm-hmm. Oh, yes. Great indeed. So, using long division, you put... The scaredy 78. Yes, very scared. Let me put the brave 6. So since 7 now is greater than 6, how many times can 6 fit into 7? Hmm, 6 times 3 equals 12. No. 6 times 3 equals 18. No. 6 times 1 equals 6. Mm, yes. So we'll put 1 over here. And we multiply it. 1 times 6 equals 6. Subtract that. Equals 18. Now, 18 divided by 6. 18 is still greater. But it's still hiding. That's for sure. These are multiplication tables that we should have been able to memorize. 18 divided by 6 equals 3. And now, 3 times 6 equals 18. So, so there are, each team can, can have 13 pieces each. Or no, there will be 13 teams. And, you know, yeah, six pieces to each team. There will be 13 teams. And it says how many pieces are left over. No, it doesn't look like there's any pieces left over. So, we'll just say that there are no pieces left over. Thank you. Put the board up. Thank you for watching my video today. Put your comments in below and tell me what tell me what you think or the answer should have been. If you don't agree with me, you should agree with me. I'm the I'm the creator of this video. Put your comments down below. Thank you for watching this video. Au revoir. Bye-bye.